So this is just a quick video on how to do an APA formatted table in OpenOffice, which is a free version very similar to Microsoft Word. So the first thing to know about an APA table is, most importantly, there's no vertical lines. We only have horizontal lines that separates our conditions and uh, the table itself. You'll notice that the whole table is surrounded by a thick border, one at the top and one at the bottom, so we'd need to reproduce this. And then we have uh, different conditions. We have one condition here, another condition here. And this is the name of the factor that um, these levels are a part of. Likewise here we have uh, two other conditions. Now the table we're going to reproduce will be slightly different to this one. For here, instead of sequence, we're going to have time of day. So there's an experiment. Some people took part in the morning, some took part in the afternoon. And then another separator here just for males and females. So it will just be simpler. And we'll just have the mean and uh, the errors for each of these uh, conditions. So what we do is we launch OpenOffice. If you go to Insert and then Table, this is here we stipulate how many rows and columns we'd like. Um, so we'll just do a 5 by 5 So 5 rows, 5 columns. Don't worry about name, don't worry about all the other options just yet. Click OK. And here we have a table. Obviously it doesn't look anything like the uh, APA table. So this is where we need to do some formatting. So first of all, we'll just put in um, male and female for our separator here. Um, then we go back, so we'd like the mean and errors, mean, errors. So at the top here, this will be uh, mean, error, mean, error, just like so. So these are reaction times, so just any arbitrary value here um, doesn't matter. And then percent errors, for example, again, just completely arbitrary. Whoops. 3.2, just like so. So first thing we'd like to do is perhaps just centralize everything, just to make it look a bit neater. So we just select everything, and then right click and then we go to alignment and just click on centered and everything moves to the center so already it looks a little bit uh, neater so once we have this information in now we'd like to put in time of day so uh, these mean and errors here are from the morning and these are from the afternoon so if we go back to our table here um, these are the equivalent of what we're going to put in now so you can see they're centered over these three uh, columns here so we need to do that as well. And what we do is we, for example, select these two rows here. Then if you right click on them, go down to cell and click on merge, it's going to create these two, uh, sorry, merge these two cells into one. So this is now going to be morning. And we'll do the same for this one. Just merge afternoon. If you make a mistake and you'd like to unmerge them, if you click on it again, you just click on split and that will put them back to two individual cells, but we'll keep it like this. Then remember what we need. Now we have morning and afternoon. We also need this uh, factor name for what this is going to be. So this will be centered across all of them. So we'll just select these four at the top, right click, go to cell, merge, and just put time of day, like so. So now we have the, um, the skeleton of uh, a proper table. So we have all of our columns. Uh, you can put gender here if you want as well. It's not necessary. Um, what we need to do now is get rid of these vertical lines. In fact, we'll get rid of all of the lines. So we select all. And in this table tool here, um, which one is it? Bear with me a second. Ah, yeah, here we go. So it's uh, this box here for borders. So we select it and this top left one is no borders. So first of all we'll get rid of all of the borders. Um, so this is now just a completely empty table and if you were go to uh, print preview for example just to have a have a look at it you can see, or at least hope you can see, that all of the borders are totally gone. So now we're going to draw the, the, the borders in um, and go from there. Okay, so the first thing to do is to do our borders, one for the top and one for the bottom. I won't worry about how thick they are at the moment, I'll just get them uh, formatted correctly first. So what we do is we select all of these uh, cells at the top, click on border again, and we'd like a, th uh, a border at the top. So it's, uh, can you see this one here? If I just move the cursor away, 
you can see that it's got a border at the top so we'll click on that one and now we have one border at the top we'd like one at the bottom as well so again click on border now we're going for the bottom there we go so we have our table enclosed with appropriate lines if we go back to the final table here for your factor here there's one line going across all of sequence or in our case time of day so we'd like a line going from uh, around this point over to this end point so we just uh, select this cell here click on bottom border and we have that in whoops ah, okay so when you do this it will also get rid of your, your top border so you'd like top and bottom for this one there we go similarly we'd like a line under morning and a line under afternoon so again click both of these one for the top one for the bottom and again for this one top and bottom we'd like one line going under all of this as well so there we have our table if we go to um, print preview uh, just zoom in a little bit Oops. You can see that our table now looks uh, like an APA table. So this is how you do uh, a table in OpenOffice. There's no vertical lines, just purely horizontal lines. It's relatively straightforward, uh, and I hope that helps. Okay, any questions, uh, just drop me an email. Thanks.